Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KWKMAN 66 Day Challenge 5.0, Day 48. So we have been focusing on designs lately, and we have done social assets. We have done print assets. Yesterday, we created a video asset, and today we're going to look at creating email assets through the email designs tab inside of our designs applet. So let's jump into designs. We're going to click on the paintbrush icon here to open our designs applet, and we're going to create a new design by clicking on the big blue button in the top right corner, create design. We're going to choose email and then go to next. And when we do, kind of similar to how WeBrand gives us all of our templates for our social and print assets, we also get templates from KWRI for our email assets. And you can see there are 73 of them available for you to load. If you click on load more, it just kind of keeps on going and brings in more and more different email based templates. So let's take a look at, uh, let's do a just listed marketing template. So we're gonna click on this one here and click on next. And the first thing that I recommend doing one is kind of scan down in this template, take a look at it and make sure that you like it. And then to get an even better view, come over to the right hand corner and click on this eyeball. That's gonna give you a preview of what the email will actually look like inside of the email inbox of the clients that you are sending it to. Once you're done with that preview, just to get a general overall feel, you can start making the edits. So we're gonna click on the X and basically what this email template is, it's just a series of images and text boxes for the most part. So let's pretend we've got a new listing that we want to send out an email template about. Earlier, I showed you that massive and amazing listing of my friend Laura Hughes at 2607 Morgan Fair. Let's do an email template around that. So it was uh, Morgan Fair Lane, I believe, Katy, Texas 77450. Once you have changed the text inside of this text box using this editor, we're gonna click on done, and you can see that updates this text box. Next, we have an image that we want to edit, so we'll click on the image, and then click on the pencil. I did the exact same thing with the text box. And you can see in this case, it's gonna bring in a photo that I want to replace. So I'm gonna click on replace, and I've got the option to bring in images that I've already loaded into my library. I can add images to my library, or I can pull images off of the listing. So I'm going to go ahead and choose to do that, and we're going to pull up Laura's listing at 2607 Morgan Fair. And when I search, there we go, there's Laura's listing. So I can click on that arrow and it's going to bring in all of the photos of the listing. So this is kind of the lead shot. Let's say we want to replace that photo with this one. We'll click on replace. And now you'll see the photo over here. Once we click on done, that photo is now updated. And so we'll scroll down and I can change this text box. I can change this text box. I can update how many bedrooms and bathrooms it is just by clicking on the pencil. So this is actually a six bedroom home. So we're gonna click on done. We're gonna edit the bathrooms. This one is actually six full and two half. So we'll click on done. This home is massive. The square footage is actually 8,045 square feet. We'll click on done and it is being listed at 3.1. So we'll click on the pencil and trade that out to 3.1 million and then click on done there. Now I've got two additional photos. We're gonna do the exact same thing, same process. Click on it, pencil. We're going to replace. We're going to listing images. We're gonna look up the listing one more time. Morgan Fair, there we go. Search, click, decide which one of the images you want to use next. So. Uh, let's do, let's see, that massive bathroom is a pretty impressive shot. So now we've got the bathroom here. We'll go ahead and click on done. <laughs> Excuse me, we're gonna click on the pencil one more time, edit this last image, and again, listing image, go search for the property, pull it up, <clears throat> and then you can put in the listing from that side as well. So we're gonna get those three photos edited, and again, you can kind of choose any of the photos that you want to replace them with. 
click on done once you have that new photo chosen. And then you'll see you've got information here. These are both text boxes that you can easily edit. One more time, I'm gonna click on the preview just to make sure that everything now looks good. I've got the address, I've got the photo, I've got my text boxes, the information about the home, some additional photos and information. And then all of the rest of this info is being pulled in from my marketing profile. So that is a simple and easy way. If I wanna see what it looks like on a tablet, I can click there, see what that looks like on tablet. I can even see what it's gonna look like on a mobile device as well. So instead of being left to right, it's just top to bottom. And once I'm done with the preview and I'm happy with this setup, you can see it's now saved to design. So I might wanna come in and change the, the name of this file, right, by clicking on it. And let's, just so that it can stand out, so I know which one it is, let's do just listed email template. And at the very beginning there, I'm gonna put 2607 Morgan Fair. So that way it stands out in my designs. We're gonna save it. We're gonna then save and exit. And now you can see inside my design library, I now have this email template. We're gonna get into campaigns very soon. And inside of campaigns, I will show you how you can actually send out the postcard that we created, how you can post that social post or the social ad, and how you can run email campaigns through the campaign applet. So that's to come soon. That's it for tonight. Hope everyone's having a great day. And as always, I look forward to talking to you again real soon.